The real maturity of the Army of the Potomac occurred when in 1862 winter quarters at Falmouth, Virginia, between the battles of Fredericksburg and Chancellorsville, while under the command of Fighting Joe Hooker. Though the men had served under McClellan and Burnside, Hooker was a proven fighting man who had a familiar attachment to his men that they enjoyed. Hooker made them feel indestructible. He attempted to provide for them all sorts of rations and subtler goods, routine target practice to build the shooting confidence of the men, and had grand reviews to build the army to 120,000 men. He wanted the men to be ready to destroy Lee. The men would march from their huts in the spring of 1863, the best fed, best armed, and best trained they had ever been. Gettysburg would prove that fact, but not with Hooker still in command. 